thank you to Alexander RHH for their generous donation on Patreon. If you would like to join them in their generosity, the link to my Patreon page is in the description. Hello everyone, my name is Deckerlink the Trained Unprofessional and welcome back to Tennis Ace. Uh, on the last episode, <laughs> oh my gosh, we did the June update. It was two days long. And I did get a notice on Patreon, Basket said that uh, due to a lot of life stuff, the next Tennis Ace update will be a little delayed, but considering that the next update is apparently going to be fucking huge, uh, and considering that his past update was fucking huge, uh, and all the stuff going on in his life, of course, uh, I think, yeah, he deserves a little bit of our patience. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that anyone's giving him anything but, so awesome all around. Speaking of awesome, I wanted to uh, say... Thank you, uh, very much. I, uh, as of recording this, the hour and a half long fucking, I don't remember what day number it is, but the, uh, the first hospital visit that day, that, uh, has just gone out. Um, I think it was yesterday for me. Um, so the, actually the, the episode before this, the one where, uh, fucking, uh, Aki gets into the hospital room and all that. That hasn't been uploaded yet, so I haven't seen anyone's response to that. But uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much to so many. I got so many fucking compliments about my voice acting in particular for that episode. And I genuinely think that episode has garnered me more compliments about my voice acting than I have received overall before that for the past, like, number of years. And, uh, considering that my dream career is voice acting, that was extremely, extremely nice to experience. I, I just, I'm so fucking grateful and I'm flattered beyond compare and it really meant a lot to me to receive that level of reception and kindness and um yeah it 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 made my fucking week for at least for sure um so thank you and uh hopefully uh I can keep the train going um <laughs> but we're not here to do a June update. Um, we're here to hopefully catch up with the other updates. We're uh, I'm going to I check Keisuke first because I don't know if he got an update. Jesus, we played all of this on the same day. Fucking hell! So it'd be this one. Does he have an update? Ho! Oh, he does. You flickery fuck. I think this is right. dots. For some reason, my brain is currently glitched out of existence way in the morning. I, that sounds really familiar. Hold on. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't see this July one. God damn it. Yes. Okay. There we go. And yeah, there, of course, there was stuff. There's a load of crap right there. There's six craps all in a row. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a little distracted. Crap! Crap, 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 crap! Great voice acting there. I got a message from Shoichi five minutes ago complaining about my being late. I didn't mean to be late, but I completely lost track of time. Ah, oh, look at everyone. Oh boy. By the time I finally reach our scheduled meeting place, everyone is already there and waiting for me. Even June is here before me. Gah! Hey, someone finally decided to show up. What a miracle. Morning, Benjamin-san. God, everyone here except the woman wants to fuck us. Okay. June receives me warmly. I bet he would, despite the overall, overall atmosphere of annoyance from around the others. I'm sorry. It's totally my fault. It took way longer making lunch and cleaning the kitchen than I thought I would. I even rushed through my bath trying to get here quicker. And yet, you're still 20 minutes late. I tried my best. 
Now that you mention the bath thing, your fur does seem a bit damp still. Um, uh, I didn't have time to dry myself properly. With as long a fur as long a fur as you have, oh boy. With as long a fur as you have, I'm not even surprised. It must be a nightmare to maintain. It can be. At least you're here now. That's what matters. You're surprisingly calm about this. You're usually the one that's most anal about sticking to schedules. I realized a long time ago that if I tried being that demanding over Benjamin's on, all I'd do is drive myself insane. Hey, are you saying I'm not good with schedules? Uh, the fact that you're here 20 minutes late means I don't have to imply. <laughs> oh, my fucking... I've got like this sharp thing in my neck. It's generally not a good thing to have a sharp thing in your neck. I know he's not wrong. I still want to get back at him for this. There, there, Benjamin, son. Soon gives me a few gentle pats on the shoulder, almost as if he were trying to console me. Are you going to be looking down on me now? I would never. Sure, because you're so well behaved. But of course. Keisuke and Shuichi share a fist bump. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Make me groan a little louder than I meant to. Okay then. Kaikun, since you're the one who made the plans for today, what should we do first? Do we head straight for the movie theater or do we have something before? We should probably head straight for the theater. I did account for the possibility of people being late, but the session I wanted to watch starts in 30 minutes, so we don't have much time to spare. You prepared that far in advance? Of course he did. How are you even surprised? Like I said, he's the one who's most anal about making and sticking to plans. Like you have any right to talk. Sure, I also like to have things well defined beforehand, but even I don't go to his level. I did mention to him before how he tends to overplan stuff, so I don't think you're wrong. That may be true, but I still don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like having solid plans to fall back on. It makes me feel more comfortable. I never said there was anything wrong with it. Just that it's not something that should be surprising to anyone at this point. Of course, I also didn't say that there wasn't something wrong with it. So, basically, you didn't say... So, basically, you just didn't say anything. Shuichi pokes the hare's nose, smiling as if he were so pleased with himself. Exactly. See, I knew you were sharp, pretty sharp after all. Do that again and I'll bite your finger off. <laughs> Fucking June. <laughs> oh, is that a challenge? Oh, wow, 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 things just got really dangerous here all of a sudden. Can you two cut that out or it's way too early to be dealing with this already? Cut that out. We're just having fun, right, Udushihara? I'm serious. Boop me again and you're dead. Jeez, how oversensitive. You're definitely thinking of booping him again, aren't you? I've never been more tempted to do something in my life. Why are you two like this? No, actually, now that I think about it, didn't Keikun tell me that during our date that he used to have a serious crush on Shuichi? How, how did that even work? I can't see it at all. Come on, let's stop tempting death and let's just go get going so we're not late for the movie Keikun picked. Not gonna put up a fight again. Nah, I'm fine with going to a movie. It should be fun. But you're the one who kept refusing all my suggestions when we were trying to decide what to do. She did? Yeah, she did. She said going out for the movies wasn't a good way to celebrate because it's too boring and plain and uninvolved. That doesn't mean I can't still enjoy it. You know I love watching movies. I'll have fun either way. You're way too strange, woman. Hearing you say this after we struggle with after the struggle we went through to even get you to agree to this is very ironic. What? I'm not strange. Just because I wanted something better doesn't mean that this isn't good. I don't even know what to say. Mizuguchi-san. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Let's just leave. The four of us nod, turning around and walking away towards the direction of the movie theater, leaving Saya gaping behind us. This is a little fucking much. But wait, don't just abandon me! Hey, wait up! Oh, Keisuke's gone. 
Once we get to the movie theater, Kay Kun is quick to head into the line for tickets, telling us to hand him the money for the tickets and he'd buy them all at once to save time. No one really bothered to argue since, well, who likes standing in a line? As far as we're concerned, this just saves us some annoyance. Man, they really have some pretty interesting thing on display right now. Ooh, a new kung fu movie came out. I didn't know about that. I need to watch it. Please don't. Last time you watched a martial arts movie, you kept trying to intimidate them, imitate their movements and hitting us at random. I think I have an indention on my skull from where you punched me once. That's... I said I was sorry. I should go without saying, but punching people while wearing a bulky ring probably isn't the best of ideas. Did that actually happen? Yep. Three years ago. At this point, I think we've been hit by her so many times that we've developed passive impact resistance. Right? When we were kids, one punch from her was enough to knock me wheezing to the ground. Now it just knocks the wind out of me for a bit. And hurts a ton. Don't forget about that part. Oh yeah, for sure. You boys are making me sound like I'm really horrible. You kind of are. <laughs> Your actions are what make you seem horrible. We're just telling the truth about them. <laughs> June hesitantly takes a step back from Saya, <laughs> hovering a little beyond arm's reach. June Kun, I'm not gonna hit you! Are you sure? I don't think I could handle being punched that hard. Oh my god, this is amazing. Don't laugh! Alright, I'm back. That took longer than I thought it would. Keisuke arrives with our tickets, pausing as soon as he notices the look on everyone's faces. Did I miss something? Why are Mizuguchi-san and Kobayashi-san looking like that? Well, that's fine, you don't need to go around telling everyone I'm pegging you here! <laughs> Keisuke's left ear twitches, the hair shoots me a confused look, almost begging me to clarify. With a smile, I mouth off, I'll tell you later, and leave it at that. Not wanting to risk Saya, a Saya tantrum in the middle of a busy place like this. Alright then. Here. These are you guys' tickets. Make sure you present your student IDs at the entrance to validate your discounts. This isn't our first time at a movie theater, man. We know how it works by now. I just wanted to be thorough. Mm -hmm. What kind of a name is this? Saya butts into the conversation, her eyes glued to her ticket, staring at it with enough intensity to burn a hole in the damn thing. Let me see. As soon as she calls our attention to it, the other three of us grab our own tickets and read over the name as well. Huh? I can't read that at all. Is it English? Come on, Kobayashi-kun, the words aren't even that complicated. I've never heard of this movie. Is this something that came out recently, too? Yeah, it is. Why do you ask? Starstruck Nights. Passion for the Stage? What, what, what kind of name is this? What's so weird about it? What kind of a movie is this? It's a romantic movie. It's supposed to be about a girl who becomes a popular singer and how it affects the relationship she had before then. Oh. Oh, June is blushing. I was afraid of something like that. But what? What's wrong with it? That sounds like it'd be an amazing movie. Please don't encourage him. Is it bad? I don't get it. I can't believe you picked that chick flick. I thought of all possible things you could have picked, but I didn't think you'd go for something like this. Huh? What do you mean? What's so strange about a romantic movie? Nothing at all. Benjamin, did I mess up somehow? Keisuke turns to me, biting the corner of his lip. I wouldn't call it messing up. Yeah, this movie sounds really great. I can't wait to see it. Somehow I'm not surprised you like this sort of thing. What do you mean? Oh, he's fucking acting. Got, now, that, now that we've gotten that look into his head where we know, basically, whenever he's being slighted, he knows that he is, but is just acting like he isn't. That fucking look on his face of that, like, downward, basically a f fucking stern frown. We know that that's him acting, and it fucking breaks my heart. Let's just get going. The session starts in ten minutes, and we need to buy popcorn or whatever else we might want to snack on. We don't have to watch this one if you guys are so against it. 
It's your birthday celebration. Just pick whatever you want to watch and we'll go with it. You don't need to cater to us. Yeah, but... No, I feel really embarrassed having picked something like this when you guys are all reacting so badly. Aw, oh, but I really like it. Thank you, Kobayashi-kun. Come on, I'm not letting you change movies just because of something stupid. But, nope, not happening. What Yuichi said is true. It's your birthday celebration. If this is what you want, this is what we'll watch. We're not letting you change just because we're not, not partial to romance flicks. Saying that after the way everyone reacted doesn't exactly make me feel better. Sorry, we didn't mean to make you feel bad about your preferences. Yeah, just came out because we were so surprised. Of course you can watch whatever you want. For the record, I liked the idea from the start. Fine. I'll keep this in mind the next time I'm allowed to pick a movie. Jesus. The five of us heading to the theater, taking our seats by one of the middle rows, not having a, to constantly look up to see the screen. Kingsuke was the one who picked our seats since none of us had a preference for anything specific. Wow, this place is a lot more packed than I thought it'd be. Just because you don't like romantic movies doesn't mean they're not popular. I never said anything about that. I could tell you were thinking it. Oh, I didn't know you were a mind reader too. It must be nice to be born with so many special skills. I swear to God, letting you two sit side by side was a mistake. If you guys keep this up, I'm going to make you switch places with me, Shuichi-kun. <laughs> Even at a movie theater? Jun mutters to himself right next to me, whispering just quietly enough that the others can't hear him. When even he's being flabbergasted, that's just further proof of how ridiculous those two are being. Oh, it's starting. The room lights slowly fade out, with a huge screen coming to life, showing a couple of adverts that always come on before the movie begins. KSK has his eyes immediately trained right on the screen, watching even the ads with great interest, grabbing a piece of popcorn every now and again to munch on. What kind of a freak eats popcorn one single piece at a time? Seriously, uh, me? You fucker. <laughs> what do you think? I'm just hot? Well, I got hands the size of shovels. If I grabbed a handful, like, that's just a mess waiting to happen. Before long, the movie gets started. Right from the start, I can already tell that this isn't qu this doesn't quite hold my interest all that much. There's a whole lot of talking and some sappy stuff going on, which isn't really my thing. Apple cinnamon fruit and grain cereal bar. Hell yeah. The breakfast of champions. I like the breakfast of sad motherfuckers that aren't allowed to have real food. There's a whole lot of talking and some sappy stuff going on, which isn't really my thing. This shy girl has a beautiful voice. The boy overhears her singing by herself in an empty school auditorium and falls for her. Instead, my eyes seem to linger on something else entirely. Those few centimeters separating my hand from case gaze. Resting gently on top of his armrest. He's not even paying attention to me at all right now. Would he even notice if I grabbed it? I want to. And the others are around here too. I don't know if I'm ready to risk being that bold. I hate this. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Are we getting the whole lineup? God, Shuichi looks like a fucking, like... Like a master of a shrine or some shit. Meanwhile, Saya looks like she wants she would rather blow up the movie theater. The movie's flashing images continue to light up the dark room, coloring Keisuke's face with a blue light, blue, a light blue tint that a particular night sky scene. Can't help but look at his face, watching his bright eyes sparkle to the direct light. I want to grab his hand. I wonder what the others are thinking right now. Oh shit! Keisuke's face looks a little weird. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's not bad. I will say that. It's not, I'm not saying it's bad. Something just looks weird. I don't know. Are Shuichi and Sai even paying attention to the movie? I have a hard time believing so. The KSK seems to be so engrossed by it, so I can't even bring myself to be annoyed right now. Even if the movie isn't something I personally like, if he's enjoying himself this much, then I suppose it isn't all that bad. 
<laughs> Look at fucking June. Look at June. June, you sensitive boy. All the faces look weird in this one. I don't know. Is this? I'm I'm almost wondering. I I it has to be the same artist, but like, some I don't know. Something's off. I don't know what it is. Every now and again, I can hear a few faint gasps coming from the seat next to me, and I turn around out of curiosity. I see Junkin with his eyes slightly moist, seeming incredibly moved by the events transpiring in front of his eyes. Seeing such a pure reaction brings a smile to my face. In fact, it really makes me want to laugh at all that the silly tiger sitting next to me, but I know I shouldn't. Keep it together, Benjamin. That was sweet. The reaction between the different members of our group was clearly very different across the board. While Keisuke and Jun left the theater discussing the movie's events with a glint in their eyes, Sai and Shuichi left while shooting each other glances of with raised eyebrows. I can almost imagine what it is they're probably thinking. Holy shit, what are these two dweebs getting so excited about her? Something to that effect. Oh, and her singing voice was really gorgeous, too. I never heard of that actress before, but I'm surprised she was that good. She's actually a really popular singer. I thought you'd know of that. She is? I'd never heard of her before. What's more surprising is that she can act. It's not often you can find a pop singer who can act a damn. That was, I I don't know if this is the analogy they're going for here. I doubt it, considering the circumstances, but that was my surprise to Lady Gaga, because uh, I, I had a phase where I liked a couple of her songs, but by and large, I was just not interested. Um, but then all of a sudden, she's like, in really great acting performances, American Horror Story especially, holy Christ. That just makes her even more amazing. It does? How? Aren't these both just two different sides of the same coin? It's not, uh, really, it's not really unusual for actors to receive some amount of vocal training. It's kind of standard. On the other hand, a singer that can act isn't as common. Hmm, I didn't know that. You don't seem to be too impressed. That's neat, I guess. Not the kind of thing I really care about, though. I just wish there had been a bit more... anything? It just felt like a whole lot of talking with nothing happening. Are movies only worth something to you when they have big flashy action sequences? I'm not too sure. It definitely wouldn't have hurt. Why do I even bother? I think you're looking for validation from the wrong people. That much is for certain. So you guys just hated the movie? Hate is a strong word. It was alright. I wasn't exactly paying attention for most of it. I made a bad choice. Come on, you can't fault us for not liking it. Did you really have to pick something so girly? Fuck you. G girly? Yeah, I guess your taste in movies is pretty girly. That's not true. I... I just like good romances and happy endings. Fuck, fuck this whole conversation. That's so fucking... It was, it was a fucked up thing to say in the 90s. Fuck you. That is so incredibly curly. You know what, whatever. Think whatever you want to think. Ah, uh, don't be like that. I think it's really cute of you for that. I think it's really cute that you like that sort of thing. That's so dumb. Oh, I didn't know you were so easy to embarrass, Ushihara. That's that's not. I mean, I'm. I know it's probably really fucked up of me. It's not fucked up, but like, I keep thinking about what June is thinking in his head right now. Notice how he's not saying shit during the whole "it's girly" thing. Because he's being insulted, but they're not directing it at him, and he so he's just keeping to himself with that stoic fucking I'm not showing any expressions type of thing. God damn it! I, I don't I don't want to say that June's route is overshadowing everyone else's route, but considering what we just came off of, I get I, at least you can kind of understand. Oh, you really are so cute! What an adorable little bunny die 
Huh? How come it didn't work? Sorry, Mud. You don't have the leverage to make it work. What, what does that even mean? How come Benjamin has it then? Well, I guess it's too bad you people don't enjoy something so artful. I suppose that movie was wasted on the likes of you, Irata. The fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a good burn, dude. You two stop that. We've managed to get this far with minimal incidents. Let's not start a scene now. Agreed. When it comes to music, I think it's more the kind of thing that Keisuke san and I would be interested in. Trying to barter with the piece. I'm sure it didn't hurt that it's an area that both you both more or less work in. Mm, I guess that's a good point. Cheer up, Keisuke san The important thing is that you had fun. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Yeah, he's right. It's your celebration, so as long as you enjoyed yourself, we're all good. Y'all notice that Shuichi is still glaring at ya? <laughs> oh, there we go. Speaking of celebrations, what comes next, birthday boy? You're asking me? We both know you probably have plans for that too already. You're not wrong. I had a restaurant that I was thinking of going to. I thought I could treat everyone to dinner. Absolutely not. Why not? What do you mean, why not? It's your birthday, you idiot! Why would you be paying for us on your birthday? Since I'm the one who chose the restaurant and all. I also don't like that idea. I'd much rather pay for myself. If anything, you're the one who should be having your meal paid for. That's... Of course I'm not going to be offering up other people to do it. I'll pay for your dinner myself. You don't have to do that. We can all chip in. Yeah, I was already planning on it anyway. It would make more sense that way. But now you guys don't have to. I can do it myself. Why would you do it yourself? We're all his friends. We came here together as a group. There is zero reason for you to. Because, oh, whatever. If he wants to do it, then just let him. It's not a big deal anyway. Oh, Shuichi. But he's... Hey, hey, Keikun. Where are we going to eat? I'm really starving. Oh, Shuichi! God damn it! That's the thing, is like, I don't feel bad keeping other people's uh, routes in mind. Like, things we learn from other people's routes. Because they're not being ignored, which is good. Like, concurrent storylines. Fuck, I really like that. And so when you have themes interweaving from them all... Uh, you have to balance out not letting other elements dominate the one you've chosen to be on. But at the same time, you gotta fucking act like the world still exists. Um, I think they're doing it pretty well here. It's just like you to be hungry after an entire bucket of popcorn to yourself. But they're so small. There's a restaurant I wanted to go to that makes a really great curry. I wanted to go there if it's alright with everyone else. Of course, it goes without saying, but they do have other things. They have things other than curry. No, I could go for some curry. Me too. That's fine, I guess. I'll look around in the menu for something else I might want. Alright, it's been decided. Captain Case Case, set course for our next destination. Very well. <laughs> everyone, hyper speed ahead! <laughs> You two know we left a romantic movie, not a sci-fi one, right? Jesus Christ. Hey, it's the same one. Or at least the background's the same, I don't know. Takes a bit of walking to finally get to the restaurant Case Game mentioned, but when we get there, we're surprised to see what appears to be an Indian restaurant. Oh. So, when you said this is a place that's known for having great curry, you meant it was an Indian restaurant. Isn't Indian curry completely different from Japanese curry? Yep. Yeah. I've never had Indian curry before. I wonder if it's good. Careful you don't pick something too spicy. Most Indian restaurants don't hold on that stuff. Really? Uh, I'm not that good with spicy food. It's quite alright. They have a spice meter for them on the menu for every dish. Sure, but what's the baseline for comparison here? Mild instant curry. You know, the store-bought tablets? Oh, I love those. Huh. I'm surprised you even know what those are like, Urushihara. Those are the ones my mom would use when she made curry at home. 
They're one of the things I remember the most from living with her. Wasn't that a long time ago? Yeah, it was. shuichi -kun, that's a really indelicate question to ask. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We give Shuichi a friendly tap to the back, subtly directing direction him in the direction of a free table nearby. Okay. Here should be a good place to sit. Man, this whole place smells amazing. It makes me even hungrier. Everything makes you hungry. So what? Doesn't mean this place doesn't doesn't smell good. How the restaurant smells isn't what I was objecting to here. A waiter comes up to our table, greeting us and dropping off a few menus so we can start choosing from them. Wow, that's a lot of different types of curry on the menu. It's a curry restaurant, that's to be expected. Oh, oh, there's Benjamin's weakness coming in full swing. Hope you guys have a couple hours to spare. He is really trying. Like, Shuichi really is the instigator. Because <laughs> he he's, 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 he's uncomfortable. And so he's compensating with humor, which to him is just veiled insults. Shut up! They also have a few options outside of the curry menu, though not as many. Maybe if you decide to choose outside of curry, it might help you with narrowing down the list. But, but what if I want curry? Do you want curry? I don't know. But what if I do? Is, is this a joke? I'm surprised you're still surprised by this. I don't think I've ever seen Benjamin San struggling this bad to pick before. That's because he's been letting people decide for him a lot lately. Huh. Now that you mention it, the last time when we... Kun sighs, having apparently connected some kind of dots in his head. When you what? Never mind that, unimportant right now. Just realize something stupid is all. Oh, oh God! Also notice the, uh, the subtlety of the placement here. Keisuke and Shuichi are as far apart from each other as possible to uh, indicate the divide here. Oh, I know. I'm going to have the butter chicken. You're lactose intolerant. That doesn't stop us. All right. But but it looks so good. It sounds great. I'm mildly lactose intolerant myself. Of course, I'm not even sure of that because I literally ate a salad and got the shit. So I'm like, I don't even know. I think I just have a disease of some kind. I, I need to go to a doctor. I'm a doctor. But probably not the one you're expecting. I am absolutely not sitting in a restaurant with you if you order something with lactose. Aww. Is Mitsuguchi-san really lactose intolerant? I saw her eating ice cream a few times before. She's not supposed to, she just cheats. A lot. But lactose is what makes food good! How about we pick something that doesn't have yogurt, yogurt, or butter for now, huh? Ah. The chicken buna, I don't know, I'm sorry, is really good and is dairy free. I guess that'll have to do. Right, for me, I'll get the butter chicken. What? Hey! Just because you can't have it doesn't mean I shouldn't. Dots. Shuichi, that's evil. Hey, I was already eyeing the butter chicken on the menu. It's not like I picked it just to spite her. Can't you pick something else? Literally anything else? But I didn't know you were such a crappy... Wow! Jesus, that's... <laughs> crappy person! That... God damn! <laughs> like, that is really hard over really not something big. <laughs> Fuck. Like, this game has a tendency when people are being, like, dogpiled, they, like, really dogpile. But, like, she went from evil, crappy person, can't you pick anything else? Like, it's just food. Fuck. I didn't know you were such a crappy person, Ura. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Jesus Christ. All right, all right, I'll freaking change my order. Are you happy? Yes. I'll have the tandoori chicken instead. Surely that should be fine, right? 
I guess I picked the Birini. Also known as the cheapest option in the menu. Yeah, you're not slick at all, June. I'll have the Korma. Mm, I guess I'll have that one as well. You don't even know what it is, do you? Doesn't matter. Please, oh please let it be a super spicy curry. What, is it? Kinda, it's a three out of 10 on, the t on their scale. Oh, then it should be fine. Aw, oh, bummer. The whole group goofs around for a while longer, placing our orders and chatting openly while waiting for it to arrive. Not even the arrival of the food, and the fact that we're supposed to be eating is enough to slow down the conversation. Saichan is by far the one that contributes the most, constantly asking questions and switching subjects faster than the car switches lanes. Oh, I just remembered Ichigo. Chan told me you're working on a new song for the band. How's that going? Terrible. The, huh? How come? They shot down every single one of my demos. That bad? What kind of song are you even going for, Keisuke-san? I don't really have a specific image in my head. I'm just going with the flow, I guess. That's... that's not gonna work. Why not? If you as the composer aren't feeling the music, how are the people listening supposed to? Feel the music? What about the basics? Have you even decided on stuff like what kind of progression you're going to be using? What scale? What key is it going to be in? Well, all the demos I showed them were in a major scale. Two songs in E major and one in G sharp major. What about the minor scale? I don't have much experience composing on the minor scale. The minor scale is the best scale! Oh my god! Why not? I mean, uh, it's just, I don't know, moodier? Well, yeah, the minor scale tends to sound more introspective. It's good for a more emotional songs. Maybe you should look into that. I lean over towards Sayachan, whispering to her. Do you understand what they're saying at all? Maybe every fifth word? Hmm... I'll look for a few references, and we'll try to work that out. If anything, that might be a new direction to look to. I'm glad to have helped. <laughs> a few hours later. Keisuke and I are the only ones left. Everyone else was... <laughs> I don't even want to... I don't even want to finish that. <laughs> I going to say something mean, but then I was like, I don't want anything bad to happen to these characters, even hypothetically. After dinner, the entire group headed to the karaoke, where we stayed for most of the rest of the day. This is the first time I've seen Case Case singing his heart out without any concerns. Unlike the last time we were there, where he needed to be goaded into it, he nearly hogged the microphone today. A lot of the session was us watching Saya and Case Case sing duets together. They were by far the ones who seemed to enjoy themselves the most. Not that the rest of us weren't having fun, too. By the time we left, the sun had already set, and... We all had to begin heading home. The group started disbanding little by little until we got to the point we were where we are na in now. Fuck! With only Case K and I walking together by one of the streets near the station. You look pretty happy. I am. I'm glad you had fun. I know you were a bit hesitant about this whole thing before, so it's good to see that you still managed to enjoy yourself. My concern was never about whether I could enjoy myself or not. It was about whether other people should go through the trouble for my sake or not. Is it that hard to understand that we love you and want to spend time with you? <laughs> Thanks. No, really. Thank you so much for today, benjamin son. It meant a lot to me. Why are you thanking me only? You didn't thank the others for it. You know they were just as much a part of it as I was. I know. But it means a lot more when it comes from you. Oh! Keisuke looks around for a second, checking that the coast is clear before quickly giving me and leaning forward and planting a kiss on my lips. He lingers there for only a few seconds, only barely letting me acclimate to the warm, moist feeling of his lips before pulling away again. Uh, I've been wanting to do that again. It still felt nice, even if it was a, a quick one. Yeah. God damn it, Case Case. So adorable when he's like this. And by the way, you're not at all subtle, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? There's no one around here. I don't mean right now. At the movies. The movies? 
He nods, raising his hand in the air and waving it around in front of my face. You can't see me! <laughs> I believe this is what you were looking for back then. Oh, 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 he got us! That fucking look on his face. Fucking love it. I uh, didn't think you noticed that. What? Didn't notice you constantly pawing at my hand and brushing against it the whole movie? It was hard to... It was hard... It, it's not hard to tell why you weren't paying attention. Shut up. <laughs> you're really cute when you're flustered like this. In fact, it makes me want to play around with you a bit more. Why? Well, he's turning on his masochistic mode again. I suddenly feel very unsafe. So, I was thinking... Would it be alright if I came over to... Oh! Case K is cut off with a loud ringing on his phone inside his pocket, a high-pitched sound that snaps both of our attentions away. And in good timing, too. I'm pretty sure I could tell where he was going with that sentence, and I think it would have been... A, it, would, I, it would have been... I think I'd have been able to keep my cool if he'd finished it. Hmm. Hang on, give me a second. I set my phone to do not disturb, so Alex should be the only one going through and ringing today. If he's calling, then it sounds like it'd be important. I doubt it. But I should still answer. Saved by the gong! Or, in this case, phone. Yeah, case, case speaking. What is it, Alex? Dots. Well, right now? But I'm... No, I get that, but... This better really be an emergency. If I get there and find out it's something stupid again, I'm gonna beat you over the head with a baseball bat. That's unnecessarily violent! You even sent the car already. You're really not giving me any room to argue here, are you? Yeah, fine. I'm in the station near school. Alright, I'll be here. I'll be there. Case gate. Oh, oh, that's not supposed to be dialogue. Case gate turns off his phone, sighing loudly while rubbing the bridge of his nose, his left brow twitching every, every so often. <laughs> yep, I've seen this expression before. He's trying really hard not to lose his temper right now. Sorry, Benjamin son. Apparently there's something I'm needed for right away. I won't be able to stick around. I heard. So he even sent the car before calling you? Yeah, annoying little asshole. You already knew he'd talk me into going home anyway. The car should be less than five minutes away. I'm gonna have to run to the station to get there in time. <laughs> Is that really even necessary? If there's an actual emergency, yes. I should get going. I, I can go with you to the station. Don't be silly, we're already near your home. There's no point in you doing that. But, Benjamin, it's fine. I appreciate the offer, but I can take care of myself. Thanks again for today. I'm sorry to cut this short so suddenly, but I really have to go now. I'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. Oh, Keisuke runs off. Okay. <laughs> A lot of running again. Keisuke runs off just as fast as I'm used to seeing him run by now. Jeez, he really has some spring in his step when he wants to. He might have had an easier time becoming a track star than a tennis player. Turn around, I begin my way, my way home. Faint smile still across my face as I remember the events of earlier in the day. Most importantly, I can barely keep myself from reaching with my fingers to touch my lip. Still remembering the feeling of KSK kissing me. Aww. Alright, so that's the last day that's been currently added to the KSK route. Uh, I guess, boom, that'd be the most recent one to overwrite. Alright, so it looks like the next episode will be a Shuichi update. Uh, but until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the train of- Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just skipping right to the fucking outro. That was a nice little fun day. A uh, little fun excursion to the fucking uh, group activity. It was just pleasant. You know, a little ple- And the weird thing is this, is this was a perfect example of kind of the feeling you would get if you played through a game once already and then came back to it, being able to see, you know, when you have- inner dialogues with characters and stuff like that to uh, to be able to, to see that again uh, and, and recontextualize a lot of stuff and I'm really doing that a lot with uh, June in particular but Shoichi never was too subtle about you know what he's going through in most of these routes especially the ones that aren't his um, 
And knowing that Keisuke had a crush on us in every route, but then I just dropped it. Um, because he emotionally can just do that. And then, of course, June, who has a crush on us, but is most importantly just fucking hiding his emotions and doing all that stuff. So it, it's just, there's a lot that we're going through and, uh, uh, having to bear in mind. We don't have to, but it helps to bear in mind a lot of the stuff. And, uh, today was a good example of that because if you're just sur looking at it on a surface level, maybe you were playing Case Case Route for the first time, you wouldn't know that June had all that shit going on in his head. And you wouldn't, you would, you'd know probably, you would have figured it out by now that Shuichi was jealous as fuck, but, uh, you know, it hasn't had that June Route moment of, I was here first, I loved him, you bastard. Like, there was, we haven't had that. So, there's just, it's interesting. And it's something that, if I ever do get around to making the visual novel I, uh, me and Brief planned, I'd have to bear in mind, no matter what route we go down, you have to write it as if it was the first time that anyone's playing it, and as if people have already played all of them. And it's, it's a hard balance. It's a hard fucking balance. And uh, one that this game does very well. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Tennis Ace. On the next one, uh, unless we, unless I just don't feel like playing this game until the update comes out, uh, the next update should be for Shuichi. Um, but until then, ladies and gentlemen, I've been a trained up professional. You're not. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.